Larry Bird and Kevin Durant, two transcendent talents who redefined the small forward position. With sweet strokes, clutch genes, and killer instincts, Bird and Durant are masters of putting the ball in the basket. But which small forward icon stands above the rest? Strap in as we break down the stats and skills that set these greats apart. Will the old school Bird soar above the modern Durant? Or will KD's unlimited range conquer the Celtics legend? Let's dive in and find out. But before we continue, we would like you guys to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell icon so you do not miss out on any amazing and entertaining content. First up, let's tackle scoring ability. At first glance, most would give Durant the edge here. After all, he's won four scoring titles, averaging a blistering 27.3 points per game for his career so far. KD can pull up and nail shots from anywhere on the court, even with defenders draped all over him. He's a scoring machine with limitless shooting range. But don't sleep on Larry Legend's skills. Bird averaged 24 points per game over 13 seasons facing much tougher defenses. Hand checking was still allowed in Bird's era, making offenses less efficient. Despite these hurdles, Bird was an elite shot maker. He could post up, nail mid-range jumpers, sink clutch buckets, and shoot the three ball. Bird was incredibly efficient too, joining the 50-40-90 club four times. So who's the pick for better pure scorer? It's very close, and you could argue both ways. Durant's numbers and consistency are just insane given the spacing and freedom of the modern NBA. But transport Bird to today's game, and he'd put up similar video game stats. Overall, Durant deserves the slight edge as a scorer. Yet Bird was still truly elite for his era. Alright, now let's move on to the shiny stuff. The accolades and awards. Both legends have trophy cases stuffed with hardware. Bird won three championships, two finals MVPs, three consecutive league MVPs, Rookie of the Year, and made 12 all-star teams in just 13 seasons. Meanwhile, KD has two rings, two finals MVPs, one league MVP, an incredible four scoring titles, Rookie of the Year honors, and 13 all-star selections so far. Seems pretty even, right? But when you dig deeper, Bird gains an edge. Those three straight MVPs as the Celtics dominated the league were incredibly impressive, and Bird was clearly the driving force behind those championship runs as the leader and best player. Durant's rings came on an already loaded Warrior squad with Curry as the centerpiece. KD will surely pass Bird in counting stats and awards if he stays healthy, but in terms of being the undisputed number one guy while racking up MVPs and rings, Bird stands out as superior. The accolades tell the story. Bird was the main man. This brings up an important question. Who made their teammates better and had the greatest impact on winning? Bird took the Celtics from 29 wins before he arrived to 61 wins and a championship his rookie year. His passing, rebounding, defense, and clutch scoring transformed that franchise. KD joined an already amazing 73-win Warriors team and pushed them over the top. But he didn't transform them single-handedly like Bird did for the Celtics. Bird was also the heart, soul, and vocal leader of those Celtic squads. He set the tone with his work ethic, tenacity, and clutch factor. Durant's more of a lead by example type and tends to defer to guys like Steph Curry and Golden State. When it comes to impact, leadership, and making teammates better, Bird stands out as superior. Now this is an area where Bird really separates himself. Skill set and versatility. Don't get me wrong, KD's skills are incredible a bird could legitimately do it all. Pass, handle, shoot, rebound, defend, post up, you name it. He put up 24-10-6 for his career. Insane numbers. Durant's a stellar shooter and scorer, but doesn't impact all facets of the game like Bird. Bird had way more passing and playmaking skills, while also being an elite rebounder for ASF. He was super clutch and hit some of the most iconic shots in NBA history, like stealing the 87 All-Star game at the end. Bird could dominate without scoring while still getting buckets when needed. He was just so well-rounded and complete. Durant's more one-dimensional as a scorer. The advanced stats back this up too. 
bird tops KD in win shares, VORP, and other all-in-one metrics. Kevin Durant is one of the highest IQ players in the NBA today. He's a total student of the game who is always adding new moves and perspectives by studying past legends and modern stars. KD has a fantastic sense for when to involve his teammates. He uses his scoring gravity to bend defenses and open up space for them to launch open jumpers. But KD also knows precisely when to flip the switch and enter ruthless killer mode, strapping the team on his back to secure the win with his limitless scoring talents. This balance of playmaking and takeover ability shows KD's advanced basketball intellect and mastery of in-game situational basketball. But when it comes to Larry, he just might have the highest hoops IQ ever seen. Bird had Chris Paul's genius level understanding of how to run the offense paired with Gary Payton's skills as reading passing lanes and picking off steals. Larry Bird was the quintessential basketball chess master, thinking several moves ahead against opponents who seemed like novices by comparison. He had a sixth sense for how plays would develop and used his supreme basketball IQ to outsmart and outmaneuver adversaries, even though they were often faster, stronger, and more athletic. While Bird couldn't jump out of the gym, he knew how to get to the right spot before anyone else. He operated on a different mental plane than the rest of the league, seeing openings and angles that nobody else could conceptualize. Bird was the rare wizard who could win games with his mind just as much as his smooth jumper and gritty rebounding. So, who takes the cake for basketball IQ? It's very close, but based on the sheer legend of Larry Bird's almost superhuman court vision and feel for the game, he stands out as having perhaps the highest basketball IQ the league has ever witnessed. That's not to diminish Durant's skills and constantly evolving grasp of the game though. KD is an elite basketball thinker in his own right, who keeps sharpening his mental game year after year. While he likely won't surpass Bird's IQ heights, Durant has a chance to continue climbing the hoop's intelligence ladder as his career progresses into the twilight years. When it comes to smarts, both these small forward legends are shining examples of supreme basketball intellect, but Larry Bird's otherworldly IQ still stands as the standard that all future players will be measured against. All right, so what's the final verdict here? It's incredibly close, and you can't go wrong with either guy. But based on accolades, impact, skill versatility, leadership, and IQ, Larry Legend gets the slight overall edge. Durant's the superior pure scorer, but Bird could dominate games without even scoring while also putting up points when needed. He just brought more to the table and anchored championship squads as the guy. That being said, KD still has plenty left in the tank if he stays healthy. Another MVP, a few more rings, and scoring titles could tilt the scales. But for now, when you look at their complete games and careers in context, Larry Bird remains the greatest small forward of all time. Durant's climbing the ladder fast though, and his story's still being written. And there you have it folks, a detailed breakdown of the legendary Larry Bird versus the incredible Kevin Durant debate. So what do you think? Did I get this right? Is Bird clearly the small forward king, or does KD have an argument as the best ever? Let me know in the comments. Which legend would you want leading your team? Drop your thoughts below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.